Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to knit the linen stitch. So this is the linen stitch here and this is a dishcloth. If you want to get this pattern, um, look for the link in the description and if you go to my website you can get the pattern for free, it's a free PDF. Um, so if you head on over there and you can see all of the instructions written out as well. So I'm going to show you how to knit this uh, linen stitch. It's quite a, an easy stitch for a beginner um, and it creates this woven um, dense fabric which is great for dishcloths or table mats or table runners, this sort of thing. Um, anything where you need like something really sturdy and strong. Um, okay, so to get started, we've got I've got my 4.5 millimeter US seven uh, needles. You can use straight needles or circulars. Um, I use circulars for everything um, to knit flat as well. And I'm using this uh, Lily Sugar and Cream uh, cotton. Uh, this is a really good cotton um, if you want to make some dishcloths. It's nice and strong. Okay. So to begin, um, you need to cast on, I'm going to cast on an odd number of stitches. So for this sample, um, I'm just going to cast on a few stitches. So, let me see. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I've got eleven stitches that I've cast on there. Okay. So it's a two row repeat pattern. Uh, for row one, which is going to be our right side, I want you to slip one purl wise. Okay, so we've slipped one purl wise. Then you're going to knit one. So take the yarn to the back and knit one stitch. Okay. Then bring the yarn to the front and slip one purl wise. Take the yarn to the back and then knit one. And then we repeat. So bring the yarn to the front and then slip one purl wise. Take the yarn to the back and then knit the next stitch. Okay, bring the yarn to the front, slip one purl wise. Take the yarn to the back, knit one stitch. Bring the yarn to the front, slip one purl wise take it to the back and knit one stitch. And for that last stitch, because you we've got an odd number of stitches that we've cast on, you can bring the yarn forward and slip that stitch purl wise, and then take the yarn around so that when you turn, you're going, that stitch is gonna look like one of the slip stitches. Okay, so row two, which is our wrong side, um, I want you to purl one. So we're purling that stitch that we've just slipped. Okay. Bring the yarn to the back and then slip one purl wise. Bring the yarn to the front and then purl one. And then we just repeat that. So take the yarn to the back and then slip one purl wise bring the yarn to the front and purl one stitch. Take the yarn to the back, slip one purl wise, bring the yarn to the front, purl one stitch. And then just repeat again. Take it to the back, slip one stitch, purl wise, bring it to the front, purl one stitch. Take it to the back, slip one stitch purl wise, bring it to the front and purl that last stitch. So when we look at 
the sample, you can see that there's a float and then a stitch, a float, a stitch, and then repeat it along there. So we're creating through the slip stitches, the, the woven sort of look of the, the uh, linen stitch. So we'll do one more row, what, uh, one more sequence, sorry, together. So for row one, so slip one, pearl wise, then take that yarn to the back and knit one stitch. Bring the yarn to the front, slip one pearl wise, bring the yarn to the back, knit one stitch, bring the yarn to the front, slip one pearl wise, take the yarn to the back and knit one stitch. To the front, slip one pearl wise, to the back, knit one stitch. To the front, slip one pearl wise, knit one stitch. And then bring the yarn to the front and slip one. Take the yarn around, turn the work. Just get my needles right. Okay, on the for row two. So we're going to pearl one. Take the yarn to the back and then slip one pearl wise. Bring the yarn to the front and pearl one. Take the yarn to the back, slip one pearl wise. Bring it to the front, pearl one stitch. To the back, slip one pearl wise. To the front, pearl one stitch. To the back, slip one. To the front, pearl one. To the back, slip one. To the front, pearl one. And then as you can see, We've got a nice little sample of the linen stitch there. So here's the larger sample so you can compare and you can see that it's looking the same. So those slip stitches are giving this nice woven effect. So I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, there's also a tutorial on my channel for um, how to crochet the linen stitch. So if you want to look at that as well, um, that will be in my videos. And if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and give it a like. So thank you for watching and I hope that you enjoy this pattern and that you want to try out this linen stitch. Bye for now.